So today we are in Christmas mode in this household and I want to create some Christmas card tags for my gifts um, which will be wrapping soon for the holidays. So what I decided to do was to do some watercolor tags and these are going to be simple, easy and um, anyone can do them. And if you haven't already signed up for my free COVID Christmas card giveaway check out the Christmas card video for beginners and find out how to enter for the free drawing. Um, so let's get started. So first of all I'm using um, Strathmore watercolor paper. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I believe it was $11 and I've got 30 pages and it's, fat, it's rather thick cardstock um, it is cold press, heavy weight, and it's acid free, so it's perfect for artwork. And what I did was I ripped a sheet out of my booklet, and I measured my um, paper. Um, two inches this way by three inches this way and then I put washi tape over top of the center so I centered the line to the center of the tape. I didn't want to go through that process with you because you know how to measure out paper and put tape down so I didn't want to bore you with that so I pre did this. My tape is down nice and, nice and firm Washi tape doesn't have much sticky, so it will come right off the paper easy. And washi tape is also very inexpensive and comes in little rolls like, like that. So I'm going to be using my Winsor Newton watercolors, which I got at Michael's. And they're not very expensive, but they have some nice color to them. A lot of artists like to use them. I have a larger set here and then I've got a smaller set here with my colors. This is like a travel set with a little water brush and this one came with a, a, a little brush which I don't really use that much. Um, so I'm going to be using my favorite watercolor brushes which I also got at I believe Michael's. They are Royal Langnickel watercolor brushes, clear handled brushes. This is a number 10 and this is a number 3 and I also go back to my 20-0 liner. I love my Princeton 20-0 liner. So those are the materials I'll be using and of course a jar of water and a paper towel. So not very many um, supplies and it's not very expensive to do so this will be a fun project for you um, and or your kids um, to do and it will also make your packages even more special because it was made by you. So let's just start. What we're going to do is anything that comes to mind. I'm going to start off with a wet on wet technique. Um, so I'm wetting down my paper and just just moisten it. And then I'm dotting in some color and letting the color flow with the water and they blossom and blend together. And it makes a very pretty background adding in more color, moving the paint around with my brush till I get it the way I like it. And that would make a nice tag for any occasion. And I'm doing another one. I'm going to do the color around the edges and let the color bleed to the center. Wet on wet technique. And this is your time to experiment. Experiment with the colors and let them do what they want to do and play with it. So this is a dry, a wet on dry 
technique where you take the wet paint and apply it to the dry paper. You get more detail this way with watercolor. Putting in a few holly leaves. You can do whatever comes into your head. And I like the blue one so much I did a red one. Let the red paint bleed to the center. You'll see at the end I made these two, the blue one and the red one, into um, actual packages. They look like Christmas presents. So I'm coloring in some um, ornaments wet and dry. A little bit of more wet and dry technique um, using the paintbrush to make branches of the Christmas tree. Putting in squares of color for packages under the tree. And I decided to do a very simple pattern, just a couple stripes down the sides, and it comes out to be a very cute tag. Remember, you need to allow for space to put your to and from um, labels into the tags. Putting in some holly berries. This one I do a silhouette of a cat, because we are a cat family. We have five cats in our house. Letting it dry a bit. And give them a little background, a little snow scene. This one here, I'm painting a, a ribbon and I'm making packages. Blotting up a little bit of paint there in the centers to give them a little bit of um, contrast in the ornaments. Now this one here is uh, um, a wet on dry but what I did was I pooled the water and the paint at the top and let it drip down but it took a lot to get it to flow because I was doing a wet on dry so I kept adding more paint and more water and more paint and more water until it decided to flow and I wanted a painterly look And I'm doing a star with a Christmas tree there. Very simple, cute little paintings. Nothing special. Easy to do. And this one's going to be a um, drip effect with wet on wet technique. And just keep adding color and water and letting the paint flow down. So I'm putting in some more color, uh, a little bit darker branches there on the tree. Adding some um, of the ornament hangers and some... S I'm using my Posca pen, which is an acrylic um, paint pen. And I use the Posca pen to do some detail work. So it's quicker. But you could do it with the watercolors as well. Just make sure your watercolors are dry adding some detail to the tree and putting some ribbons on the packages and making them actually look like packages. And I'm adding my to and from on my labels, my tags. 
And I went in with a white Posca pen to do a snowflake, but I couldn't really see it on the blue background, so I ended up doing it over in black. Adding in some ribbons on my packages there. And doing the curly kind of ribbons on the top one. This is a quick and easy project for you and your kids to do. Um, they came out quite cute. And remove your washi tape comes off quite easy and gives you a nice clean out outline of your tags. Slice them up. And then at the end, I do some fine cutting with the scissors to give them the shape that I want. And a hole punch cuts the little hole at the top of the tag. And you can use ribbon or string. I decided to use the red ribbon. And they're all, that's all there is to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.